The human ability to perceive faces is quite good. In fact, it's very good. From the moment that we are born, we display attentional biases towards seeing human faces. This bias is so strong that we sometimes even see faces in inanimate objects such as in this example, or in this example, or even in this example. Now, obviously we know that these aren't actual faces, and that these examples just happen to consist of certain features that remind us of faces. Still, by merely looking at one of these examples, we immediately cannot help to see a human face, despite knowing that it's not really human. The question then becomes, why is it that we sometimes can see faces in inanimate objects? Well, from an evolutionary perspective, the ability to detect and to discriminate between humans and inanimate objects is incredibly important. One of the key ways in which this distinction is made is by relying on social cues such as faces. Face perception is incredibly useful in this endeavor because faces convey a variety of relevant social information such as identity and emotions. By focusing on people's gaze, faces can also provide us with important information by guiding our attention to potentially salient stimuli. Because of the importance of face perception, a substantial amount of research has been conducted on the topic. Research focusing on the neurological mechanisms that underlie face perception has revealed that the perception of faces is so imperative for humans that we have a specific region in the brain called the fusiform face area which responds very strongly to seeing faces. This region of the brain, located in the fusiform gyrus in the inferior temporal lobe, works together with the lower visual cortices in the processing of faces. Interestingly, while the fusiform face area has been shown to be involved in the processing of human faces, research also shows that this area is active even when seeing inanimate objects that evoke the sensation of seeing a face. In other words, the same region that is involved in the visual processing of an actual human face is also active when we quote-unquote see a face in an object. This phenomenon of seeing faces in inanimate objects is called face pareidolia, with pareidolia referring to the tendency to perceive a specific and often meaningful image from a random or an ambiguous visual pattern. Adding to this, in a study conducted by Liu and colleagues from 2014, the researchers presented their participants with a variety of images, including images like this one, which consist of pure noise. While this image does not contain any visual information of value, the participants were led to believe that 50% of these images contained either a face or a letter. Because of this deception, the results of the study showed that the participants actually reported that they quote-unquote saw their faces and the letters in these images 34 and 38 percent of the time respectively. Furthermore, when the participants reported that they saw the faces, the researchers found increased activation of the right fusiform face area as compared to when the participants reported seeing the letters. This research further shows that the fusiform face area not only becomes activated when seeing actual faces, but the region is also involved in illusory face perception. Thus, in conclusion, the research discussed in this video points to a potential top-down component in our processing of faces in which sensory input that has even the slightest suggestion of a face can result in a face being seen. And this would explain why we sometimes see faces in inanimate objects. We hope you enjoyed our video and we hope to see you in the next one.